In a major development, the Cabinet Committee on Security has cleared the 7,000 crore rupees deal to acquire 307 ATAGs for the Indian Army, and the contract will be signed next week. The Defence Chiefs of India, Japan, Australia and the Commander of US Indo-Pacific Command held a meeting in New Delhi. Boeing's Liquid Robotics and Saga Defence have signed an agreement to co-develop and co-produce autonomous surface vessels. India and US are all set to sign the $3.9 billion deal for 31 MQ-9B armed drones under which 10 units will directly come from the US, while 21 units will be locally assembled in India. Amid the massive 299 Rafale order backlog, French Defence Minister has announced that the French Air Force will order additional Rafale fighter jets. The Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines has expressed satisfaction with the Philippines' existing stock of Brahmos missile systems acquired from India, and that Philippines is looking at the possibility of procuring more missiles and surface-to-air missile systems from India. The DRDO has commenced limited series production of the Phase II Ballistic Missile Defense Interceptor AD-1. One of the world's leading shipbuilding companies Fincantieri has set its sights on India, as a pivotal long-term partner for co-developing and co-producing next-generation vessels. The Cabinet Committee on Security has cleared the 7,000 crore rupees deal to acquire 307 ATAGs for the Indian Army, and the contract will be signed next week. Bharat Forge will manufacture 60% of the guns, while Tata will produce the remaining 40%. The orders for ATAGs will go up in the future, as the Army plans to induct more advanced versions for a total requirement of 1,580 units. Highly respected defense journalist Ananta Krishnan has said that the Air Force's evolving requirements could drive the development of a Tejas Mark 1B variant in the future. There is a high possibility of incorporating features from the Tejas Mark 2 into the later batches of the current 83 Tejas Mark 1A order, as it could provide the Air Force with a more capable aircraft without waiting for the Mark 2's full-scale production. That could also serve as a stepping stone for export opportunities. In a major setback to Pakistan, China has officially confirmed the espionage case of a former defense engineer who leaked classified data on the J-35A stealth fighter jet to foreign intelligence agencies. The Chinese defense engineer made contact with a foreign intelligence agency, offering classified information on the J-35A in exchange for payment. India will be able to get a briefing about the J-35A very soon, thus enabling the Indian Air Force to devise countermeasures for its operations. The DRDO has commenced limited series production of the Phase II Ballistic Missile Defense Long Range Interceptor AD-1, and this move to limited production is aimed at facilitating more extensive trials. The AD-1 has dual capability, which means that it can intercept long-range MIRF-capable ballistic missiles beyond 5,000 km and even hypersonic glide vehicles, as well as engage hostile aircraft in a theater rare defense role that adds significant flexibility to India's air defense architecture. Today's Top 3 Comments